probably monitor channel 8 and throw the retirement out that. Repeating monitor channel 8 and throw the retirement out that. signing off for the last time. Uh, I want to thank you and your staff for your high level of professionalism and your commitment and dedication to keeping our officers safe. It's been a pleasure. Uh, be, be safe. God bless and thank you. Thanks first for everyone to, to coming today to help celebrate this with us. Um, first, I'd like to congratulate Chief Chu on reaching this milestone of his life and best of luck in his next chapter. Um, this week has been you know, kind of a whirlwind. You know, we've done a lot this week. Um, and it just, uh, it's weird, like all the memories just start like, you know, coming back. So um, yeah, I just wrote down a couple of them that uh, you know, kind of, Chris and I first met in college. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we had Mr. Schwartz in criminal justice. <laughs> And we we're both trying to figure out like what policing was and like where we fit into that puzzle of it. Um, we figured it out. We we're here. We're here. Um, next time I saw him was the alternate route program. We go for testing, so you have to undergo testing, physical tests, to make sure you're okay. So you know, recognize him from college. Not all of our push-ups and sit-ups are counted because <laughs> Lieutenant Friel, he was the instructor that was counting them. So we didn't get quite as many as we did, but yeah, we, we got enough to pass. Never forget that. Yeah, they were his standard, not the, <laughs> not the, not, not the other standard. So it started early. Um, <laughs> first day in Esham, I walk in. We were in the old building on Main Street. Most of the officers here don't know. There's only a, a couple of us that still work there. It wasn't the best building in the world. Walk in, there's a walk-in desk right in front of the bathroom. It's a great spot for it. For the, that, 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 that. And I walk in, and, and Chris is sitting at the desk. So it was nice, you know, walking in, seeing a familiar face, you know, being welcomed by somebody you knew from college. Um, and that kind of, like, you know, took off from there. Detective Bureau is kind of like... I don't know where it all started. We sat next to each other in the DB, investigated a lot of cases, a lot of serious cases, um, but had fun doing it. There was very few interviews we did that people didn't confess. It's everyone. Yeah, so like, and it's every single one. So we could either have sold jail or sold cars. Either way, we would, we would have probably been successful, so, which, which was good. Not all the, we joked recently about some of this, 
things people told us, you'd be surprised what people will tell you in the interview room. And, but that's not for right now. Uh, <laughs> no, the tape rolling, no, yeah. you know, it's uh, confidential. <laughs> the other one that popped in my head was, um, we both had apartments in Woodlake yeah. back in the day, so he decided he was going to cut my hair. Uh, <laughs> or Nicole. <laughs> There was hair everywhere. <laughs> my hair is very, very, yes. It's probably still there. People are living in the apartment finding my hair in there and wonder where it came from. It was like right before a wedding or something. Too, it was, yeah. Oh, it was a good idea. Yeah, it wasn't. It didn't look, it didn't look, it didn't good. look good. No, but it worked out. Um, but we came a long way to today. It's hard to believe it's in 25 years. So, you know, unlike the college days, you know, like I said, we figured this policing out. Just want to congratulate you on your all the success, the professionalism, and kind of you know getting to this point. Like, 25 years, long time. And I know you mentioned the other day, it's more than half your life has been spent here. I just find it funny, like, you know, like how things come full circle. So he welcomes me on my first day. I get to send him off on his last. So that that does mean a lot. So wish you a lot of success in your next chapter. You know, we're always here. Enjoy your family. Enjoy retirement. Take your mom to coffee. Yeah. Weekly. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming back as a class three. Start tomorrow, please. Mayor, please. Robert. She said right after yoga, you can get yeah, 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 yeah. and have coffee. I'll do it. So I'm I told her I would, I'll go. I told her I'd give you that direction. But you know, thank you for everything. Yeah, thank you. Best of luck. And you know, I just found one thing, you know, when you climb the mountain, you finally get to the top, so enjoy the view. Absolutely. You know, so that's the best way to look at it. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Everybody knows once I grab this microphone, hang in there because I am going to talk. Actually, I'm not. I'll, I'll make this very brief because I said a lot at the council meeting. I said a lot at our department meeting before, uh, you know, when I announced my retirement to the whole department. Um, my, my son's here, so which is great just to hit for him to see this. You know, what it's been going on this first 18 years of life, I did a, I tried to do a very good job of keeping policing out of my family. You know, I just don't want to bring that trauma back to them and the things that we go through. So I don't even know if they knew I was a cop for their whole life until recently. <laughs> and, I, and I, right, Nicole, we never talked about it, um, but just extremely grateful for my parents' support, uh, my wife and my kids just always being there. Um, and, and you're gonna find out as acting chief, you, you work about 18 hours a day um, you, and you're never off. And it feels good this week when I said I am officially off. <laughs> so now I can actually just clear some mind space and, you know, find out when my daughter's going to be driving, when my son's next college party is, because I'm going to show up unannounced. <laughs> you know, he's like, what, what is going on here, Dad? I didn't sign up for this, right? So I'm really just looking forward to that next chapter. Um, they say when you get, everybody I talked to is retired. Uh, Bill Cromie is my field training officer when I got hired in 1997. So like when Captain Miller or Acting Chief Miller was telling me like what it was coming through the door, he is what I saw coming through the door. And we, we had some laughs last night. Um, just, I could just, we could talk about some of the, the calls. I know I won't, but it was really just full circle from being my field training officer, then him climbing the ranks, being my supervisor, and then him being a township manager and, you know, uh, authorizing me to be a police chief. Uh, Steve Adesio, Chief Adesio was also, uh, you know, a mentor through my career, and he's here, so thank you. The Police Foundation, outstanding individuals, probably raised $300,000 over the past nine years at least to give back to the community at no taxpayer cost. I mean, it's just... And without even asking, I put an email out, hey, we're thinking about giving uh, free pizza to the residents during COVID. They need help. And we want to have the ability to have our officers some, some part of it. All right, what do you need? $3,000 check, $10,000 check, you tell me. And I don't even know how many pizzas we delivered during that time, but it was, and the pizza places jumping right on board, the businesses, outstanding. Um, it was just great, and I can't be more grateful for all the work they did. My, our police chaplains, I see a lot of them there. Um, so critical to our agency mission um, of just keeping our officers safe, keeping them healthy, always being there when they need to talk to somebody. I value that uh, relationship and friendship, and I can't even begin to tell you, indebt it to you guys, uh, how, how great of a job you do, so thank you. I see our civilian staff, our IT, even though IT Eric's a Dallas fan, so let's give him a boot. No, just kidding. <laughs> boo, all right, good. Um, really, that they just keep the wheels turning. Um, Sonia, Kate, everybody up front, um, the amount of work. 
the, the amount of paperwork and phone calls that come through here is out of control uh, to the point where it's, I never find out about it. That means it's working because they're working hard and doing a great job and they're just great people. I love each and every one of you. You do such a great job and I'm gonna miss you. Um, and to the sworn staff, you guys are outstanding guys and girls. Um, you really are just uh, critical to this township's um, overall happiness and safety. And I really believe you're the fabric of keeping us together as a community because you're out there every single day, 24 seven. There's no such thing as the same call. So you're going from call to call to call, not knowing what to expect on the other side. And you do it with the utmost professionalism, confidence, and at the end of the day, always safe. And, and you know, that's with one thing I can leave you. Work hard when you're here, and when you're off, play hard and have a good time. You know, stay within the lines, be smart, but when you're at work, be laser focused, understand service before for self, love the community because they want you to help them, to guide them, sometimes just to talk. Um, so keep up that great work. I'm gonna miss every single one of you. I'm really looking forward to seeing some uh, names back there and some faces that are, you know, talking about moving around, wanting to go into the detective bureau, wanting to go, be promoted to Sarge and people are asking questions, how do I become a lieutenant, how do I become a police chief or honor guard back there. You guys are awesome. The 30 by 30 group. Um, I can just begin to say, you know, Sergeant Gorman and the wellness committee, the, that committee right there, you know, and I think everybody, every sworn officer has at one time or another leaned on them for something, whether it's personal, whether it's for a friend or whether it's just organizational, those groups outstanding. They're really committed, dedicated, and just love each and every one of you. And to my command staff, these guys in the white shirts could be a police chief in any police department in this country. I say it all the time. And I also say my sergeants can too because the amount of work that we put on you guys is, is out of control. But the, the white shirts, they work hard. Um, they're fully committed to the agency's mission or core values, just, just, just great people and really care about the community, care about the department, and care about the uh, success of, you know, what makes Evesham different from the rest. Why does every other police department call us to do a policy or a program, or how do you do it, why do you do it? Give the examples, and without hesitation, these guys are reaching out to police departments across the country and just showing what we're doing. So that's a testament to everybody doing the work. And these guys right here, they're all ready. They're all ready for chiefs and captains and lieutenants. We've been talking about this for nine years for this day. It's finally here, and I'm very proud that you guys are ready to step up and you know, take the, the torch and keep it going and make this department a million times better. And elected officials, thank you. I said it the other night. And Robert, my new manager, my new boss, uh, over the past couple years, uh, it's been great. We've had a lot of funny talks, a lot of serious talks, uh, budgets and contracts and... Sean Dauphin's grievances, not nah, just kidding. <laughs> so Sean's our FOP president, and I'm a member, so I could say that, but you know, we laugh. Sean and I, we, we laugh, we love each other, we agree, disagree, but at the end of the day, we shake our hands and we laugh. You know, it's like, that's how it should be. It's not personal, you know, it's business. We take care of each other. If we're wrong, we fix it. If I believe that management's right, he uh, maybe not agree, but it says, you know, thank you at the end of the day for talking. So that, that relationship, is invaluable. You don't see that in too many places. And the township employees, I see somebody in the back, the, in the front, it was a pleasure working with you over these years. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. You you're work hard and, you, and this, again, just this town is by far the best town I think I've ever seen uh, across the country. I go across the country doing inspections of police departments, up and down New Jersey, over 150 of them. And by far, none of them have what we have here. We have that commitment to the community. Uh, we have that commitment to, you know, that service beyond our own needs. And this is a higher calm, gentlemen and ladies. It's, it's by far the best job in the world. I would do it again tomorrow. Maybe not a police chief, <laughs> but I would be a patrolman in a New York second on a midnight shift. That's the one thing I'm gonna miss, is going call to call, I love it. And then my adrenaline, I love that challenge. I love that, that's the biggest thing I'm gonna miss, that and the camaraderie with the staff. Um, I talked enough, I think. Um, but I'll conclude this again. Thanks for everything that's done here today. My family appreciates it. I appreciate it. And don't call me on the chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> I say that half heartedly, but it, even uh, the acting chief, I told him, I said, I love you to death, but you call me on Monday, we're going to have a problem. Unless, <laughs> unless somebody gets hurt or somebody's going through a private issue or something like that, I'm available all the time for that, forever. But if it's a policy question or, you know, what do I do in this situation? Like Bill Cromie told me when I became a cop, 
figure it out. You're a big boy now, <laughs> right? You know, I go to him with questions in my first day, and I'm, what do I do? He goes, you're a cop, man, you should know. Go, go make a decision, walk yourself through it, and you're smart enough to do it. And that was the best advice I think I've ever had, because I applied that throughout my career. And uh, to you guys and girls, just remember, you know, why did you become a police officer? Remember in the academy, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, right, Larry? My buddy Larry. Um, you know, why did you become a police officer? Never forget your why. Never forget your why. You, you got into police because you want to help people. You want to save lives. You want to take care of others. You want to take care of each other. Don't lose that perspective ever. I had a piece of paper in my room, in my office, that I've had for the past 20 years ahead of my locker, and it just said purpose. You know, and every day I came in, put the uniform, what's my purpose? It's Chris, it doesn't matter what you want, who you are, what you need, my purpose is to serve. So I'm going to end it on that. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. I'm still going to be in the area, so please, if you ever need anything, don't reach out. That's no, kidding. Reach out. I'm around. Thank you. Next. Have the uh, township manager come up. He's a few oh, wow. worlds. <laughs> I don't. This is work. Yeah. No <laughs> confidential talks. No. What the, there's, a, there's a reason why we always had the chief speak last at our, our council meetings. How do you follow the chief? So it's always a hard thing to do. Uh, but chief, you know, it's nothing. Not too much more I can say than what I have already. Yeah. I appreciate your uh, your friendship yeah. and what you've done for this department, for this township. Uh, your legacy for a few eight and a half years is going to ring forever and ever in this township. Uh, and thank you for making my heart so hard picking up the next uh, the next year yeah. because, as you said, you know this is the true testament of who you are, your character. Of you know, it's it's, it's not about you; mm -hmm. it's about your brothers and sisters in the yeah. uniform. Yeah. You know what you've done to prepare everybody makes my job harder, but at the end of the day, makes the department even better. Yeah. So thank you, Chief. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Uh oh. Next is uh, Sean Dawson. Like Pass me the uh, HMF of the. Yeah, we're going to present something to leave us here for a minute. <laughs> you want to sit down? It might be a little while. Uh oh. Never <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> stories, but I told that stuff. All right. Be nice. Just think. <laughs> this is even on. This is on. You did. You did. My boys, that was my boys will carry. I like to throw test out. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, we in college party. Let me know too, right? All right. Let me know. I'm in. All right. I'm in. That's one thing I'm thinking about right now. Now, um, so uh, I'm Sean Dolphin. Uh, some of you may recognize me from Support Services. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, also our uh, union president. Um, you know, my first, my earliest memory of uh, of Chief Chu was uh, it's like back in 2000s when I started. Um, he was, uh, I guess at that point, he was detached to the Narcotics Task Force. And, uh, you know, I didn't really know everybody or anything. It was, I was really kind of new. And, uh, and he's in the station. I'm like, there's this guy in the station. He's a little scruffy. He's got like a, he's got like an eyebrow or ear ring, eyebrow ring thing. You know what I mean? Like sticking out of his face, you know? And I'm like, I'm like I guess, we're, you know, like, who is this wackadoo? Like, you know? And, and uh, I'm like, I guess they let the prisoners like walk around the station. Right? <laughs> yeah. So I came from I came from Chislehurst, so I was like, all right, I thought we were a little bit lax, but I'm like, all right, this is cool, man. We'll do you know, we'll do this, you know, and you know, the prisoners and stuff. But uh little, little did you know that uh, at that time you know, he uh, um, you know, was in the ranks, became a chief uh, thirty year career, I guess, right? Yeah, a little more, maybe more. Yeah. 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 I don't know the math, man. Uh, more, more 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 than a third. I don't know, more more than a third. Yeah, yeah. Um but our paths never really crossed that much working. Um, you know, I was in the detective bureau, came out, and, you know, administrator, all that stuff. Uh, I think like 2010, around that area, you were, um, you know, one of our uh, platoon uh, lieutenants. You know, so we had a little, little bit of exposure there to him. But, but we never really, our paths never really crossed that much. Um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm our labor leader here, I guess, in, in, in town. So, you know, when, when he became administrator and I was became chief, um, I've been involved in, in union activities pretty much like since I started, um, you know, so you, know, you give up a little bit when you do that kind of stuff, but, um, but it's good and it's rewarding. And uh, dealing, with, dealing with him, it, it, it was, it, it's always sort of a contentious relationship between labor and, 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 you know, the administration. I mean, I've dealt with three chiefs. Everyone kind of handled the uh, union stuff a little bit different. Uh, when he became chief, 
Um, again, we, we start, you know, start a little, little, little bit rough, start out a little bit rough. You know, we had some, you know, some, some roll, roll call arguments, st you know, stuff like that. You know, pop in a roll call and, you know, you know kind of kind of get us going a little bit. Um, but, but, but in the end, you know, he, he did help uh, bridge, bridge the gap between the uh, union and, and the administration. And that's something I'm very thankful for. So. Um, what else? What else? What else? There was something else I wanted to say. Um, well, anyway, I guess that, I guess that, that kind of wraps it up. I mean, one of the, one of his big things is is you know where my office is. It's like in the main hallway, so he'll walk back and forth, and you know he's always whoever he sees. Like, hey, thanks for coming in today. Thanks for coming in today. You know, whether you're mad or not, you know what I mean. Like thanks for coming in. Like you know what I mean. You know, so so I just want to say thanks for coming in today. All right, man. Thanks for, thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming in today. Uh, but I, I always t I always tell guys I'm like you know just, you, you could you know thankfully to to years of, of successful uh, collective bargaining right which will keep that going right you know uh, that's my last thing going out six percent raises yeah there we go there we go yeah yeah so you know I always tell I always tell guys you know you you can do a lot worse than retire as a patrolman in Neefsham Township you know. Um, but I guess retiring chief's okay too. Not bad. Yeah, not, not bad. bad. That's not bad either, That's right? Bad either. All right. Um, so, without further ado. Oh, this is gonna look good in the kitchen, Nicole. Yeah. My wife's very anti kitchen. So, on behalf That's of awesome. the uh, East Shed Township FOP Lodge 143, we'd like to present the, to you this wooden flag, wow. right, for you to hang wherever you like. Yeah, That's awesome. Um, congratulations yeah. on your 25 years of service, and uh, we wish you the best of luck. Your Get out the way. 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 Get out the Everybody, there's food back inside, so if everybody could go back in and eat, that'd be much appreciated. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to say to my husband on uh, his retirement day, um, he definitely, he said he definitely called me, it was definitely his calling, um, since he was born to do this job, and I can say that over the last 25 years he's been very happy to get up every day, put the uniform on, and be a policeman, a police chief. Uh, so I'm looking forward to moving forward and seeing what the next chapter brings him, but it is uh, it was a great 25 years, and he uh, deserves every minute of his retirement. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>